When Elias Brotberger goes to work, he doesn't need ID. And he doesn't need money. In fact, much of what he needs to get through the day is hidden right there, just below the surface, in his hand. You like to touch it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, weird, yeah. It's yeah. like a grain of rice. Yeah, a grain of rice. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. Yeah, it's all in chips. So I use it like to get around the building. Buy snacks. Yeah, exactly. Let's buy some snacks. Exactly. So I can't open it. No. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to first blip my chip and it will log me in. Mm -hmm. And from there I get access to the fridge. Popular TV shows like Black Mirror have imagined chips as part of a dystopian future. Install ingrained procedure with local anesthetic and you're good to go. In Sweden, the microchips are already here. When Elias Brotberger goes to work, he doesn't need ID. And he doesn't need money. In fact, much of what he needs to get through the day is hidden right there, just below the surface, in his hand. I hate to say, I told you so, but I'm back again, and I told you so. <laughs> Look at this next video, right? And then I'll come back to you. <laughs> I'll tell you where this is going, shall I? It's so fucking obvious. These QR codes are going to be linked to your central bank digital currency. Your central bank digital currency through these QR codes will be linked to said supermarkets. Okay? You will own nothing and be happy. The World Economic Forum's well-known slogan, okay? You won't have to pay for food. You won't have to pay for rent. You won't have to pay for anything, right? Okay, because it'll all just be deducted from your universal, universal basic income, which we spoke about the other day, which they're trialling across three cities in the UK. Fuck, how don't you see it? Shit. Right, so the air, you, you won't be able to get into the supermarket OK, unless your central bank digital currency allows you to and it's been deducted accordingly of your universal basic income. OK, and then we move over to the credit scoring of your um, universal basic, basic income, etc., which they've already implemented in China and they will be implementing globally. OK, bit by bit, slowly but surely, 
over the next five to ten years, all of this will become fucking normal. And you're all going to fucking accept it. It's really, really sad. It really is. But <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I find it fucking hilarious because we've been telling you for fucking years that this shit's coming. And you were telling us that we were quacks. And now that it's fucking here, you're going to carry on calling us quacks. Right? <laughs> oh, do you know what? You guys carry on doing you. I'm going to carry on doing me. I don't shop at Aldi anyway, all right? And if the worst comes to it, I'll just fucking go and build a farm somewhere and grow myself, grow, grow myself organic shit and fucking go and buy some cows and sheep and just, you know, whatever. This is bollocks. Absolute bollocks. And we all need to fucking do something to stop it, you know? And I've said this before. I would quite happily start it. But I know for a fact that if I go out of there and start kicking off, you're all just going to watch me do it. No one's going to join. So what's the fucking point? I'm not going to prison for you lot. <laughs> anyway, uh, QR code turnstiles in your supermarkets. Coming to a town near you. See you on the other side, motherfuckers. Hello, we are here today at Aldi's in the high street of Glasgow because we are saying hashtag boycott Aldi. And the reason we're saying that is for their digital exclusion QR code entry system, which we heard is operational in a London store in Greenwich. And we fear that this is going to come everywhere. It's coming to a supermarket near you. And it's digital tyranny. This is digital slavery. It's digital apartheid. It's digital exclusion. It's wrong. Look, basically they're saying, your papers please, like an authoritarian regime just to enter a shop okay to buy food you know what about old people who don't have a smart so-called smartphone what about me who doesn't go everywhere always with a slavery device or what if your phone runs out of battery okay you're not allowed to go and buy some water okay look we're saying this is your papers please stop the totalitarian creep. Stop the totalitarian creeps. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Hashtag boycott Aldi. Smiley face. QR code entry for a supermarket question mark. No! Not smiley, very unhappy face. We oppose this digital slavery. Say no. Hashtag boycott Aldi. Spread the word. Don't let this tyranny persist. Thank you. Zaman ve Glory Cult ve Evli Fadı Yahweh Başan Yahweh Şahı Başan Hak ve Daş Yahweh is the name of the Evli Fadı Yahweh Şahı is the name of the Son and Hak ve Daş is the Holy Spirit Double honor to the Apostles, the Elders of Great Millstone They rule well and oppose this truth Salutations to all the sincere Achim out there that are doing the work And I sincerity and truth Salakim And you know, that are helping to wake up the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. You know? So, to all your brothers and sisters out there, I'll come to Aqua, you know, Shalom. And you see that uh, people are starting to get hip to what uh, Esau Edom is doing to his own people. And you see a lot of people uh, uh, coming out with, yeah, the government's bad, you know? Yeah, dude, real, man. Fuck. You know? Now they want to stand up and... Um, be like, hey, this is slavery. Hey, well, this is the glimpse of what is coming because the true slavery is going to come. But first, of course, the hour of temptation written in Revelation 3 and 10 on down is coming upon whole the whole earth, man. The whole earth, man. It's coming upon the whole earth. It's going to be do or die for a lot of people. And it's going to be a sifting mechanism for 
Yosha Allah, man, you know, to bring out the true faithful ones that fear Yahweh Basham Shai and not this damn devil, you know, Esau Edom, who is ruling this uh, earth in total wickedness because they want the earth in total control. They want to be like the Most High, you know, and having eyes and ears everywhere and controlling what you eat, how much you eat, when you eat, you know, but these people are now waking up, and we've been telling you, you know, the prophets been telling you, man, the elder apostles been telling y'all, you know, oh, y'all a bunch of crazies, you know, well, we are, we are fools for Yahweh Shai's sake, but at the end of the day, those who take heed, you do, hey, you, you do well if you take heed to this word, man. Let me see. Let me see. Um, where is the scripture that popped into my mind? In Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foresee it, the evil, and hide it himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. You know, okay, I kind of messed up the word foresee it. You know, with the old English, but... A prudent man, a man that is wise, a man that is how they get knowledge, wisdom, understanding from the most high, man. And these words will build you up, man. Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of your uh, of thy times. You know, and if you are out there in the world, you have no support. If you are covering yourself with a covering that is not of the most high, but of this damn devil, you know, because he seems mighty and whatever, like the book of Isaiah says, you're going to be disappointed man because at the end of the day the devil wants everyone dead Proverbs 4 verse 16 before they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence so keep that in mind that these people are really eager to you know let some bodies uh, uh, you know hit the floor man and especially of, of Yashala, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. So don't be like, oh, this is something that can help you and, you know, this is convenient because, you know, the telephone, like, you know, the, like the guy said, if your phone goes uh, dead, you know, you have it in, inside of your body and it works with the electricity of your body. How convenient is that? You should know that if you take that mark, you make a blood covenant with this damn devil, man, who worships Satan. Like the book of 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8 on down says, man, they come after the working of Satan. They are the children of disobedience. The one who oppose Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and hate Yahshua Allah. Esau hates Jacob. So that represents the so-called Caucasians against the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So all the way back to Jacob and Esau, man. No, Jacob held, holding held fast the heel of Esau. He's gonna come down, man, with the help of, of course, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So Proverbs twenty six and twenty five. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. And he saw that the old clip from Sweden. Oh yeah, yeah, Polish cars, you know, whatever they say in Sweden. Or that was kind of more like Denmark. But hey, all them devils over there think they real, real deep when it comes to technology, and that's how they're gonna. Get a lot of people, oh, look, it's convenient. And then your rapper started, started doing it. Started doing that shit, you know? Like, the Elder Paul's been talking about that, that fat Joe and all that. You know, that clip from, if I'm correct, was lean back. It looked like he already had uh, that uh, C hip. But it's going to come. Whether he had it or not, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be implemented, man. And then, you know, you need to be faithful unto death, man. Because this devil... We'll cast a lot of us in prison, or some of us. Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. It's a trial of your faith. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be a faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. You know, so you don't know how long the ten days is going to be, how long it's going to be in, 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 uh, that he's going to lock you up. But one thing is sure, if the Most High before you, what can man do unto you? Because nothing is impossible with Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. I could do all things through, you know, Masayach Yahweh Shai. That's what the scriptures say, right? You know, so you need to be faithful unto death. 
and will be unto uh, a crown of life, man. But you need to be warned. Take heed, man. Don't be thinking, oh yeah, this is gonna we're gonna escape the evil uh, by just taking the chip and then you know taking it out. You making a blood covenant, man, with this world. So be very careful because demons will jump on you. You know, your children need to eat these days. But the scriptures say you and your children. Isaiah 41, Salah. Yeah. Just wanted to make it quick. Isaiah 40, 40 verse 11. He shall, he shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. So don't worry about all oh, my family. The most high will not suffer the righteous to, to be famished. You know? Psalm 37 and 25. I have been young and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. So think about that when you come into uh, you know a situation that is kind of hard or seems hard, but the Most High will always find a way for you to escape the temptation. You know, First Corinthians thirteen. Salakia. Salakia ten and thirteen. There had no temptation. Taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So, also with the hardship, with the chastisement, with the things that you're going through, the Most High will always get you out. But you need to be faithful. Because if you don't have faith, the Lord will not help you. Because you'll be like, it's like asking someone for help and then telling him at the same time, like, I don't really trust that you can help me. You know, so that's going to uh, show you already right there. You have no faith, man. You need to have faith, man, in this thing, man. In this thing of ours, as the Apostle Kabbalah always says. Sirach 2 and 10, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering, and very pitiful, and forgive its sins, and save it in time of affliction. So don't let your sins wear you down. Have faith in the Lord, man. Because woe be to the fearful hearts, you know, your heart, your mind, you get scared, and faint hands, and the sinner that go two ways. Woe unto him, destruction, sorrow, Unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. You see? Just to get that out there. Because this, this thing will come upon the whole earth, man. And if you take the chip, you already know you're going to die, man. Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, down with this whole system that the devil set up, you know, the Roman Empire revived again, all with all the sodomy and wickedness against the Lord, and receive his mark, the harach man, his forehead. Oh, you can walk again now, move your arm again, or in his hand, because that's how he's, uh, you know, a guy in the Netherlands, 12 years, you know, he couldn't walk, and then Esau comes with his uh, left hand magic, you know. Signs and lying wonders, and shit works. But don't ask, you know, how you don't want to know, or really, you do want to know, so you can be warned. It's all satanic shit, man. He wants to merge man and machine. We are about the spirit, man. But the same shall drink of the wine of, uh, of the wrath of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. It's going to be a long time because of course the two-thirds are going to come back but hey, some after death by pain but and the rest of the heathen will go into captivity a thousand years and after a thousand years Esau is going to be destroyed and the rest are going to go back into their lands but they're going to be under Yahshua. Yahshua will be the king of kings, man, in the kingdom. So, 
that they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. So be warned, man. Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. It will happen, man. So be ready. Pray for more faith, for strength, for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, which shall be the stability of that times. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. With that, I'm going to say shalom. Don't take the seed.